Let's welcome back to the Harvey Norman Lounge, Dr. Francis Pitsilis. Francis, welcome back. Thank you. It is lovely to see you looking radiant as always. Oh, thank you. The holidays have done me good. They really have. I think they've done us all good, really, haven't they? A bit of fresh air and a bit of rest and relaxation. Uh, what I want to talk to you about today is what we put into our bodies helps us radiate all the beauty on the outside as well. Although beauty is also on the inside, we do know this. Um, I mean, where do, we, where do we start? Where do we start? Well, apart from not smoking, mm. you want to get your beauty sleep. Yes. Now, you know, it's, it's not just um, a term. If you are in bed and asleep by 10.30 at night, your brain will make melatonin. And melatonin is your antioxidant molecule that you make yourself. But you know, when melatonin was first discovered, it was in research where they noticed that it was taking the pigment off the skin of animals. So it's really good for the skin and it supports all the antioxidant systems in your body. So getting enough sleep is important. And I think we all discover that over the summer break when you have a few extra long lions, you do look a lot more radiant. Um, I want to talk about exercising a bit because I do love to exercise. Have you got some tips for that? Absolutely. As well as being good for the brain and the body and virtually everything, exercise oxygenates your body and your skin. So it is very good for the skin. Um, and it, you don't have to do it all in big chunks, which people think that they should do. You can snack on it. You can park further away or take mm. the stairs. So it's about moving, just getting, if you're not doing any movement as you like, just get a little bit more active straight exactly. away. Exactly, I think you do need to keep moving. Okay, let's talk a little bit about what we need to put into our bodies. What do we need to put in? <laughs> Well, ultimately, it's really got to be, if you really, you know, when I studied the literature on, you know, correcting the skin and supporting it and making it as healthy as possible, it boiled down to a Mediterranean diet with green tea and soy. When you say Mediterranean diet, that's the, say, the olive oil, those sort of things? Yes. Now, part of it is the, the cooked tomatoes. And what they found in research was that if you cook the tomatoes in olive oil, it's better for you. Funny, isn't it? But, but they release lycopene, which is good for the heart and the skin. Mm. And of course, the Mediterranean diet's really high in plants and nuts and seeds. So we know that all these plants have got vitamin C and vitamin E, which are really good for your um, body. And the vitamin C in all the plants and the fruits is important for collagen production. Mm. Now, if you think about collagen, it's not just your skin. It's for your arteries, your ligaments, um, your tendons, your bones, your brain, your hair, skin, nails, you know. So vitamin C is really important. Um, and then the soy is um, very good for you and the green tea is antioxidant. So mm -hmm. that was the formula. Now, guess what? I've got good news for you. What? Chocolate, coffee, and cocoa are full of polyphenols, which are antioxidant molecules in your diet, and they're good for your body and your skin. This is great <laughs> news, but I guess we have to take back and say we're not ta we're not talking about the king size block of dairy milk. Are no, we? not we're talking quite. about the dark chocolate <laughs> or a couple of pieces. Well, it's quite interesting. The research on chocolate suggests that any chocolate is helpful, but I suspect dark chocolate's better because you don't want to eat too much. A lot of sugar in the other ones too, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, cooked tomatoes aren't my favourite, but maybe I'll start to like them. Mm. That sounds great. So if we have a perfect diet, we should be good. But it leads me to think about supplements because this yes. is an area that a lot of people have different views on. Do you think we need to be taking supplements? Supplements are controversial. Um, experts, some experts talk about you should be able to get everything you need in your diet. But who has a perfect diet and how long have the vegetables been in the fridge? You know, all this sort of thing. So my general suggestion is that because most people are very busy and stressed, I think everyone should take a good multivitamin uh, because it gives you good B vitamins and some antioxidants, some vitamin C and some fish oil. Okay, those are the three that we should Just all be your, taking. Just your foundation and then I think you should test for anything else. So how do you go about testing? Like what's involved mm. with that? Well, your family doctor can test you for iron and B12. Um, after all, women in the reproductive age group are often low in iron. And a lot of the iron foods are similar to the B12 foods, the animal foods. Um, about 50% of the population is said to be deficient in vitamin D, which you get from the sun. Mm -hmm. 
um, people don't get as much sun because they have indoor jobs or they are overly worried about getting burnt. We do want some sun, but we don't want to get burnt. In any case, you can have your vitamin D tested. So it's just a simple blood test you can get yeah. going. Okay, what about zinc? Because I know that a lot of people seem to be deficient in zinc. Well, zinc, is, zinc and a lot of other things are drained by stress, and zinc and vitamin C are the top two for the skin. Um, the blood test is not very reliable, and in many places in New Zealand you have to pay for it, but you can do a simple test in the shop. Mm. Mm. That's the one we take the swallow and if it tastes like iron then you're you're good and if it tastes like yeah. water yeah. then you need some zinc. That's right, something okay. like that. I've done that, I've yeah. done that and they do it at most pharmacies for free as well. Okay. That, that is excellent, thank you yeah. so much for that. Uh, enlightening stuff, for more from Dr Frances, go to her website, she'll be back tomorrow to look at those weight loss myths as well. Thanks Frances. <laughs>